will be saying one more uh, C plus plus program to find whether the matrix is a rectangle or a square or a scalar matrix. In order to do so, let us open up Turbo C plus plus and click on uh, Start Turbo C plus plus. And over here, I'll be opening up a new file. And in order to maximize the screen, I'll press F5. So I'll be writing a single line command uh, to find whether the matrix uh, is a rectangle, rectangular, or a square, or a scalar matrix. So now, in order to do so, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll include the uh, stream.h and then we'll include the corner.h and then we'll also include one more header file called as hash include uh, manip.h, iomanip.h. So now uh, we'll be starting with the void name and uh, within this I'll be declaring a few uh, variables that is a cons consisting of uh, five cross five five rows and five columns and again m is the order of the matrix and m is the, m is also the order of the matrix and of the order of the matrix. I'll be having uh, declaring one more variable i and j and here uh, two more other variables I'll be declaring that is scalar and then scalar element and then I'll be closing this. Now I'll be using CLR ACR to clear the output screen. Now I need to get the uh, order of the matrix from the user. So before I'll say enter the order. So once I close this uh, I'll introduce an NNL. So I need to get the user value from the uh, user that is n and then in. So now after that I will be using C out. So within this I need to get the uh, matrix element that is let's say enter the elements of the matrix and then I will introduce one more header line statement over here and for this I will be using a for loop in order to accept the matrix element that is for i is equal to 0 i less than m and then i plus plus and after that uh, what I'll do is I'll close this and within this I'll be using one more for loop that is j is equal to 0, j less than n and uh, j plus plus and I'll close this too and within this I'll be reading uh, the matrix element and that is cn that is a of i comma j so this loop uh, here we accept the matrix element now what we do is we need to check whether if m is equal to n. So if not, again there is one more uh, condition, uh, one more thing that we need to understand. That is, it is not a rectangular matrix. So in the else part, what I'll do is I'll just display a statement called as a C out, and within this I'll say it is not, it is a rectangular matrix. It is not a square matrix, I will say that it is a rectangular matrix and we will uh, end this line with introducing a new line. What if, if m is equal to n? So then it is a square matrix. So if it is a square matrix, then what are the things that we need to do? So what I will say is, I will say C out and within this I will say it is a square. And it is a square. And, and then I'll close the double, double quotes over there and after that uh, I'll introduce um, and I'll press semicolon over there. So now what we need to do is uh, I'll initialize the scalar value scalar value to 1 and then the scalar element uh, 2 and be initializing this to that is e of 0 comma 0. 
so now what i need to do is i need to use uh, two for loop that is for i is equal to zero i plus n m then i plus plus and after that i am using one more for loop for j is equal to zero j plus n m j plus plus and after that what i'll do is i'll check up if i is equal to j if i is equal to j then i have to do a few tasks else few other tasks so else again i, I have to check the condition let me come to this that is if i is equal to j if within this i'll say if a of i comma j is not equal to scalar element so then what we have to do is we have to display that uh, we'll be assigning the value that is scalar is equal to zero and after that i need to use end break statement to come out of the loop if not in the else condition what i'll do is uh, i'll again have to check the condition and remove this here again i'll check if a of i comma j is not equal to zero so then what i'll do is i'll open the parenthesis and again i'll close the parenthesis within this i'll say scalar is equal to is equal to zero and then i'll say it as break and then uh, i need to come to the uh, Again, now what I'll do is I'll come over here and then I can say if scalar that is if it is true. So then I'll just display CO statement and within this I'll say scalar and then I'll close this and introduce a end and line. If not, so then I'll display C out not scalar and then i'll close this and then introduce any deadline statement over there so now what we need to do is we need to save this particular program and save this to scalar and then press enter so now i'll press the apply to check out whether any error is there there are no errors so now i'll press ctrl f9 so when i press ctrl f9 so here the order of the matrix is 2 and 3. So here I'll say 3, 0, 0, and then again 0, 3, and again 0. Now in order to check the output, I'll say not F5. You can see that it is it is a rectangular matrix. So now again what I'll do is I'll run the second run. So here I'll say 3 cross 3. Now I'll say 3, 0, 0. And then 0, 3, 0, and then 0, 0, and then 3. Now you can not to see the output, you will say Alt F5, it is a square and as well as a scalar. Now again I will run Ctrl F9, the third case. So here again I will say 3 and 3. So here uh, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3, and 0. And again 3, 0, 3. Now it should give me as it is a square and not scalar. So now when I press Alt F5, it gives me the answer it is a square and not scalar. This is how you will uh, execute a C++ program or you will write a C++ program to check whether the given matrix is a rectangular or a square or a scalar matrix. Thank you.